discovered and I've proved it. People that are not excited, they can never smell success. <laughs> Do you keep people that are not excited in your office, around your house? You cast them out like Satan. So whatever has been making your family not to win, it will be cast out in this service. Anyone that I'm seeing now, you are here to win for your family. I don't know what your family lost in terms of blessing, opportunity, breakthrough. This service, you are winning them back. If you are saying the message, that's an amen. Hear me and hear me well. Your family will not be caged again. Whatever limited everyone in your family, today they will surrender those blessings. If you are saying amen, say that's an amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Put those hands together for the Lord and please be seated. Winning praise part two. Before we go on, I'd like to remind us next Sunday is provoking divine returns. And like I said in the first service, as you are coming, make sure you save that money oh, so that you won't tell me that you don't have. I don't like to hear that word, I don't have. It's a demonic spirit. If you keep saying I don't have, you may never have. Because scripture says you shall have whatsoever you say. Do not say before an angel is an error and a slip of tongue. It's a lie. If you keep saying, I don't have, I don't have, you will never have. But if you are saying, Lord, before that Sunday, let this money be in my hand. God will put it in your hand. Amen. You are not saying amen. amen. Let the people praise thee. Let the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield forth. Every of your blessing, we are connecting it. Are you what I'm saying now? My financial blessing, my mercy, whoever is holding it, as I'm praising God, earth, release it. Maybe you don't know. Everyone connected to your breakthrough, they are not walking on the air. Their leg is touching the ground. So as you are praising God, you drop that money on the ground. You are going back with it. It's not that I will collect it from you. I know that's where your mind is going. I know these people. It's to provoke everything that belongs to you must, must come back. Papa said, this month is our month of returns. And scripture said, he has swallowed up riches, but God shall cast it out of his belly. So we use it to provoke the casting out. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So get ready, Sunday, make sure you have 1,000 naira in your hand. In Jesus' name. Amen. You drop it on the altar, this place will be heavily saturated, anointed. Sprinkle the blood everywhere. So if you like, stay overflow, stay outside. The tea, wherever the tea in there, wherever they locked it up, they will surrender it. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. In Jesus' mighty name. And like we also announced in the first service, after next Sunday, we are going to have a Shiloh preparatory fast. It's not compulsory. Before somebody will go and say, the same memo. It's not everything the same memo for. There is something you use your initiative. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It has been working in other places, so it must work here. So if you cannot fast the four. You can break by one. Twelve one, you can break. You know, some people, they pretend that they have uh, something they do their stomach. So they must eat immediately to see them. Look. <laughs> so if your own is twelve, thank God. But if you can do two, three, good. You, 
Papa said something over the week. If you are not prepared for an encounter, don't come for this Shiloh. This Shiloh is designed for people that desire an encounter. Because he said, what he has seen God say he will do, it has not happened before. So if such a thing must happen for you, must, you must prepare for it, spirit, soul, and body. Just from what you read now, if you know anything that will disqualify you, if you know anything that will disqualify you, some people walk into evil consciously. Some walk into evil like Mumu. They, they take everything for play. Please, if you know anything that will disqualify you in this shilo, begin to separate yourself from it. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Because after this shilo, you are entering a new phase of your life. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Winning praise, part two. Life, like we had in the first service, is not just a battle, but also a battlefield. And I've discovered that when the enemy is coming after you, he does not send you text message. That is coming to attack you. It doesn't give you WhatsApp notice. Life is a battle. And most of these battles are essentially spiritual. Now, some people's battles started when they enter marriage. That does not mean that marriage is bad. God said in his word, it is not good for a man to be alone, for I will make for him a helpmeet. Another scripture, he that findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor from the Lord. So if the enemy is trying to rebrand your family life, there is what to do to check him out. You have started, your anointing have come. So in dealing with issues that concerns you and your family, you need wisdom. Even the devil does not know that praise is God's wisdom against him. How will you ask somebody, go and begin to sing as you are singing? Now in warfare, you don't announce to your enemy that you are around. True or false? You move quietly. That's why God's strategy can never be man's strategy. No wonder he said in his word, as the heaven is far from the earth, so are my ways far from your ways, and my thoughts far from your thoughts. What you are thinking of using now to solve the problem may not be what God wants to use to solve the problem. That's the truth. So to keep the enemy terrified, to keep the enemy disappointed, to keep the enemy humiliated, you must use what they cannot handle. If you use what they can handle, they will manipulate and look for a way to get back. But if you use what they cannot handle, they will be wondering, how come this thing is working against us? We see it's normal, but it's not normal. No praise ordained of God is normal. There is no normal praise. Praise is a mystery and a dangerous weapon for every child of God and for every family. If there is anything the enemy has vowed 
is to limit progress in your family. It's to limit supply for your family. It's to limit lifting. To make sure that everyone is on the same spot. To make sure that there is no good news concerning your family. But hear me, you can decide matters. I say you can decide matters. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Scripture said the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. But they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. To the pulling down of strongholds. Your enemy becomes helpless when you become addicted to praise. Your enemy becomes helpless. Like I said before, the devil is not omnipotent. He's not omnipresent. He's not everywhere. The only thing he has is monitoring spirits. You will send people through your neighborhood, check whether they sing, check whether then they pray, check whether then they eat well. But anyone sent as a monitoring spirit against you, I, Pastor Tony, am Mifle, anointed of Oyedepo. I curse them in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Scripture says, Him that I bless is blessed. If I curse, he goes stick. If you are sent as an agent, as a monetary spirit against any individual, against any family, the cause of the God of Oyerebo rests on your head. Your family must win today. Today. If you are saying amen, say better amen. So engaging a heartfelt prayer does not only hand over the battles of your family to God, it draws oil. Say with me, oil. oil. Praise draws oil. I've not seen an anointed man that is not an addicted praiser. Show me one. I'll be wondering how he's hearing the voice of God. If the enemy is after a family, what they first do is to make sure that they destabilize the man, destabilize the woman. Quarrel. Over flimsy things. Things that should not even talk, they should not be talked about. They should not begin to quarrel over nothing. Why you keep the cup here? Why you pour water here? Before you know what's happening, if they look me, <laughs> I remember one that happened was it this year or last year the wife gave birth and funny enough she had not gotten an helper or the mother-in-law had not yet come so she managed to bath the baby and whether you like it or not if they bath baby water must touch ground Am I, am, I, am I correct? Before you know what's happening, why you, why you pour water everywhere? Hey, don't worry, I will clean it. Clean what? Eh? Before you know what's happening, the demonic spirit upon him asked him to pack his load. He packed his load and left the house. That's the husband, no? Husband, Mumu. He packed the load and left the house. Just carried his bag and left the house. The woman now came and complained. I know how to pray those kind of prayer. Holy Ghost Koboko! Pursue this man, flog him very well, let him come back. I don't pity such people. 
I was calling his name. I was telling the, the angels and the spirit don't, don't be flogging him. You follow? Not in Nigeria. Oh. In US. I was calling his name. I was I'm flogging him. He followed and he came back. And I said, honey, sorry. Sorry. And I didn't know what came over me. The wife now come and say, he has come back. I say, pamper him like a baby. <laughs> if I wear him pampas. <laughs> Since he didn't know what was doing him. We are in Pampas. He was not saying, What came over, me, over myself? I said, Me too. I don't know what came over you, but I know what came over you to come back. <laughs> <laughs> there are some people you don't pray, Father, Lord, touch his heart. Which touch his heart? Flood him, let him come back. <laughs> he, came, he came back by fire. And his head became correct. Now hear me. Satan has devices to scatter homes. If he knows the husband is insensitive or the wife is insensitive, he can go through any one of them. No wonder scripture said, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Please put that scripture. We are going to see something there now. Psalm 133. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the bed, even Aaron's bed that went down to the skirts of his garments as the dew of Hammon and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there, say with me, there. Yeah. Blessing has direction. For there, the Lord commanded the blessing. For there. So you can drive the blessing away. Where there is no unity, can there be praise? Good morning. Some people even greet their husband through text message. You just open it. I know you'll be offended though. I just I should tell you good morning. Hint we send this own text. I don't want to see your face. Good morning too. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying now? I remember one. She will prepare food and keep on the table. She will drop a note. Since you don't like seeing my face. I decided to prepare your food and keep it for you. The food is already prepared. You can bring it out from the microwave and eat. after eating, you can leave the plate for me. When I wake up, I will wash it. <laughs> Where there is no joy, there is no divine presence. If there is anything the enemy has at looking for to collect from you from your wife is joy if you can take away the joy of the lord it will drive away the presence of god haven't you seen families that nobody talks to each other daughter is quarreling with mama mama is quarreling with everybody that is they are under what we call satanic siege Siege of witchcraft. This one is angry with senior brother. Angry with uh, the senior brother. They are talking to each other. Even if they are talking to each other. Heavy satanic volumes in their heart against themselves. How will you progress? The devil knows what he's using. He knows it. Scripture says one shall chase a thousand. Two shall chase ten thousand. If you have not conquered the thing that is doing with you, how can you conquer the one that is outside? The enemy within is more dangerous than the one outside. 
So you make sure that all of you are quarreling. Quarreling, fighting each other. But hear me. The joy in your heart is the target. If you can steal your joy, it will make sure that God is driven away from you. God is driven away from you. But hear me. Scripture says, when the thief is caught, it shall be made to pay back. Today is payback day for you. Because whatever the devil has been stealing from you and your family, there will be restoration. Satan, craftiness. Something that will require. I'm sorry. If I tell him I'm sorry now, his head will be swelling up like puff puff. Your home will be swelling like Julius Beggar. Whether you are a man or you are a woman, learn how to say, I am sorry. If you can't say, I am sorry, you may die quick. Do you know why? He that covereth his sin shall not prosper. And God said in his word, if I regard iniquity, David cried out, the Lord will not hear me. You can be in church, oh. anything you are covering, you can't cover with all. It's a lie. It's a lie, oh. That tongue, no, if he dry fly, you know, if he keep mosquito. One was telling me of a young couple that just got a wedding just one year. He has changed the password of his phone. I said, leave her. When we finish service today, I will call her. The moment, hey, hear me. I hope she has the password to your phone. Uh -huh. <laughs> if she has password, she must know the password. Anybody here? If your husband password the phone, call report to me. He must show you the password. If you are keeping any password that your wife does not know, you are hiding something. You are hiding something. Don't say, I don't want the children to touch it. It's a lie. Are my children? Come and tell me. He must, oh, he must show you the password. He's hiding something. Maybe there's one WhatsApp or one text message. He doesn't want it to be seen. So he will password it. Somebody say, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's no mm -hmm inside this one. <laughs> Everything is bare open before God. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Now, once suspicion enter, it cannot be joyful again. Sorrow has taken over. Scripture say, a merry heart do a good like medicine, but a dry spirit crushes the bowl. Your wife can't be marrying if there is something crafty, corny, suspicious. She may be nursing it and be smiling with you, but she's waiting for the day the thing will explode. Am I saying the truth? But you don't need to wait for the thing to explode. There is already a spiritual ceiling over your family. That is why some husbands, they get bad luck. Disappointments. Why? No joy. No joy, no celebration. How can you call her to pray? How much more? Let us praise together. When there is something on the corner, you are hiding. My wife has every right to ask me, who is this person calling you? I have every obligation to answer. This person is calling because of this. Are you wrong say now? 
you know that my children, they also carry my phone, check my messages. Yes, yeah, so what do you they hide? Are we operating secret court? <laughs> you are not, oh. The moment joy begins to fade away, the spirit of God begins to leave. Are you what I'm saying now? Don't forget. Your God is supposed to be tabernacling in your house. Your house is meant to be the temple of God. The presence of God. Don't drive him away. Your wife, your children are your first principal prayer partner. One shall chase a thousand. Two shall put ten thousand to flight. Two shall put ten thousand. If two or three are gathered as touching a thing, it shall be done of my father. Whatsoever you bind here on earth is bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose here on earth is also loosed in heaven. I said in the first service, you can always predict the outcome of a fight where God is positioned against your avowed enemy. I pity anyone ganging up against your family. You will be going against them in praise in this service. Amen. If you are saying it, let her, amen. amen. We read in 2 Chronicle chapter 20, reading from verse 12, God said, go against them. He said again, go against them. Not in prayer and fasting, but in praise. So we are coming against the enemy that vowed that your family will not make progress. And in this service, they will be going down one after the other in the name of Jesus. You can predict the outcome of every battle. You can predict the outcome. He said, for with man it shall be impossible. But for with God, all things are possible. All things. You can always predict. You can predict your husband's success. You can predict your wife's breakthrough. You can predict your children's success. You can predict an open door for your family. Why? Give him praise. Wherever praise is God does not announce his presence. He announces his manifest presence. There is a difference between presence and manifest presence. Manifest presence means going along with the host of heaven. It doesn't go alone. I've not seen a king a person in royalty, the president of a nation, going on a journey alone. Including Papa. Papa doesn't travel alone. He goes with entourage. There are protocol officers, protocol pastors that must go with him on that flight. Even when he gets there, every pastor within that region must fly down and meet him there. That's how it is. Pharaoh was a terrible enemy of Israel. He vowed not to let Israel go. Just like some people have vowed that your family will not see light. They will remain in cage, remain in prison. But in this service, the prison gates will break. The door of your family breakthrough will open. Scripture says in Isaiah 60 verse 11, Thy gates shall be open continually. Continually, not occasionally. Continually. He vowed that Israel, he will not let him go. Lie, lie. Even if I will let him go, they will, they, they will go, they will worship their God, but not too far. Not too far. So that I can be seeing them. But I guarantee you today, you are winning against every household wickedness. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. That's why I decided to take you through all that so that you now know the implication of driving away the presence of God. Quarreling. What are you quarreling for? You are permitted to be angry, but not to be, uh, uh, to be holding offense against your If you hold ag offense against your wife or against your husband, I bet you, your prayer can't cross your ceiling. 
evil angels will be telling you, shut up. God is not hearing you. Keep quiet. So you need, you need the presence of God to make it real. Like I said before, when you know the enemy that is attacking you, you know how to adjust. But what will happen when you don't know the enemy attacking your family? How will you do? So it is mystery for mystery. If the person is hiding his identity, let him hide it well. But there is something that will disgrace every hidden identity. All you need is praise. Praise. Praise attracts the personality of Jehovah El Shaddai. Jehovah Elohim. Jehovah Sikeno. The El Gibor. The mighty God. When he shows up, something must happen. I say when he shows up, something must happen. I don't know the glory that has been missing in your family. But there will be a recovery for you today. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. Satan cannot win any hope. We are the joy of the Lord reigns. He cannot withhold any blessing. He cannot limit any progress. Where praise abounds. Psalm 16 and verse 11. For in his presence. There is fullness of joy. At his right hand, there are pleasures forever. Pleasures. So your family enter pleasures, not pressure. You can choke pressure out of your family. Why? Because every pressure, stagnation, frustration is sponsored by wickedness. So you can choke pressure by giving God an invitation. Oh, we read in Psalm 114. I'd like you to see that scripture. Psalm 114. We're going to read it so that you can catch a picture. Psalm 114. When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language, Judah was his sanctuary, and Israel his dominion. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains keep like ram, and the little hill like lamb. And they now ask a question. What LED? Oh, thou see that thou fled it. Wait till you see they make you run. Thou Jordan that thou was driven back. Ye mountain that ye skip like rams. And you little he like lambs. Tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord. At the presence of the God of Jacob. Which turn the rock into a standing waters. The flint into a fountain of waters. So no impossibility can lock up your family. In the presence of God, all things are possible. Where God is present, doors must open. Oh, I said doors must open. Rock made like water. Do you know the meaning? That it can convert your difficult situation into a flowing stream. No matter what seem difficult over you and your family today god is saying i am for you i'm going to turn it into dancing hey, when the lord turned again the captivity of zion he said we were like them that dream there was a mouth filled with laughter and our tongue was singing then said they hid it the Lord has done great things for them. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, like the streams in the south. I want to say to someone, your family captivity will be turned today. Yeah. What are we doing? We are saying, Lord, we hand over. We cannot fight, just like Jehoshaphat said. We have no might against this great nation but our eyes are on you lord i'm handing over even if it's ancestral force or manipulated force or household wickedness from the village that are networking with your neighbors in the city 
God is taking them one by one. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. I'm saying to someone, you will live to share this testimony before this month will be over. Amen. Anyone that have covenanted with wickedness to fight your family progress and breakthrough, the God of Oyerebo will be ambushing them now. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. So whatever the enemy has been trying to hinder in your family to limit whatever blessing they have been sponsoring attacks against, watch out. The attacker will be the one that will be attacked right now. Anyone attacking your family breakthrough, your family success, anyone that has set up a wall to fight and resist your family, I guarantee you in this service that God of Oyerebo will smite them in for you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Something is about to happen. Amen. I say something is about to happen. Amen. When praise goes up, grace comes down. So no one praises God and not experience the outflow of his grace. David said, why are thou cast, O my soul? Why are thou disquieted within me? Hear me? Not when you're in praise. When praise goes up, glory must come down. Your family glory is getting restored in this service. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. So as you are praising God, I want you to be rest assured. The oil that will guarantee your family turn around will be pouring upon you in this service in the name of Jesus Christ. So a heart of praise is what guarantees the release of the oil. Rise up to your feet. We're going to do something strange. Brothers and sisters quarreling, fighting against themselves. Husband and wife. I don't know you. But funny enough, do you know in this church, as a husband and wife, they are not talking to each other. They greet casually. I want you to ask God for mercy. You are punishing your husband, but now you they suffer pass. Ask God for forgiveness. If you know that things are going wrong in your home, just keep quiet. Oh. Ask God for mercy first. Oh. Before angels will knock your head. Now conquering will give you. Ask God, Lord, forgive me. Show me mercy. You are punishing everybody in the home. By so doing, you have driven God away. We are going to lift up our voice and say, Lord, wherever I have missed it, that is making my family suffer, that has made me helpless, Lord, I ask for your mercy. Lift up your voice right now and talk to God. He that confesseth not his sin shall not prosper. He that covereth his sin shall not prosper. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Lord, show me mercy. Show my family mercy. Any bad seed the enemy want to plant to lock up blessing, to hinder favor, to limit grace, Lord, show my family mercy. In the name